Alright guys, they're playing a Warwick top lane again today. We're playing Warwick this time versus a Yorick top. And for the runes, we now have Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Hand, Biscuit Delivery, and then also Cosmic Insight. First. Now we're back with the champion where you can basically just turn your brain off and win the win the matchup. It's that simple. I'm thinking of going for like an on-hit AoE build. So I'm thinking of going Blade of the Rune King into... Probably into Stripe Breaker. That's what I'm thinking. I'll show you. We've got the Lethal Tempo as well. So if we actually get into a fight with Yorick, we're going to be healing insanely hard with the amount of attack speed we have. So it's going to be an enjoyable experience. We also have a Shaco in the jungle. Sure, buddy. You can fight me. <laughs> Too bad, buddy. Gotcha. <laughs> the life of Warwick, man. I am. I, I gotta have to admit, this champion remains really stupid to play. Like, even if you mess up really badly and like all the trades you do is just very bad, you still end up winning the one v one because the healing of Warwick is just too insane. It's the best healing champion you can possibly play in top lane. There's not a champion that's actually better than Warwick. Oh. Well, that's fine. Alright, now I say time to be a little bit careful because we are currently running on like 35% mana. And we don't have a lot of HP, we have no teleport. So it's time to be a little careful. Fortunately, it's good to know that this Yorick does not actually have the flash anymore as he just used it. Very good to know. Let's see if we can poke him out a little bit. So this is actually a position that you want to be in if you're playing Warwick. This is a very good position to be in. Because he actually can't hit the wall on you anymore if you stay in this position. I think I might ask top lane for a gank here because... We've got it in such a good position, man. This is actually really nice. We have like 1,100 gold. So if we can find out a way to like reset, get back to base. That would change everything. We have our belly and soul moving top lane apparently. So, not a jungler, but I think he might possibly know. Yeah, he definitely knows about Revelian Soul moving as he walks backwards. We've got the wave being in a very solid position. Okay, I'm going to push this out. The wave is too massive, so it can't stop me. Just gotta make sure it gets under tower. Yep. And we are good to go. Goodbye. I'll see you later. Alright, so first things first, right? We are Warwick, and that means damage, alright? That means blade. That's really it. So what we're going to do is um, we refuse to go into boots. We're not building boots. And there's a reason for it. Normally, if you're playing Warwick, Shut you down. actually want to go for steel caps because it uh, blocks off a lot of damage. It allows you to stay in lane a lot longer. It allows the sustain to do its part, right? But since we are playing Warwick with Lethal Tempo, and we also have Inspiration Secondary Tree, lowering cooldowns on my summoner spells, since we have Ghost and Flash... We can just cast it, we can go blade, not go boots. We can just out like outrun him. So yeah, that's the solution. We're not going boots yet. We'll do that later. I don't care if I take damage, I'll do anything for this. Oh. Wow. 
now. Yo. Got him. <laughs> Let's go. Warwick doing Warwick things. I actually don't want to... I don't want to push the wave in. I don't think that Shaker realizes. Okay. I think that Shaco probably messed up my entire wave now. It's okay. I didn't I didn't communicate with my jungler. It's partially my fault. It's okay. I didn't properly communicate with Shaco. I didn't let him know what I wanted. So I'll, I'll admit that's my own mistake. We'll see if we can uh, reset the wave. Oh man, I love the lifesteal. It just changes everything. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's maintain it. I can't wait to like start putting points in W to make my W more effective. Now we push it out as fast as we can. Sidestep. Make sure you don't get caught by it. And goodbye. Okay, we can buy Blade in like pretty much one wave. So what I'm thinking about is I'm going to drag the wave so it's going to start like pushing in my direction. Or we don't even have to do that. I have enough mana. Alright, buddy. Nice wall you have right there, buddy. Hmm. Gotcha. I still have my E, but I don't think I can use that very well. Okay, I'm definitely dead. Don't tell me I live. Do not tell me I'm going to live right here. I refuse to believe, man. <laughs> no way, man. <laughs> nice. Amazing. Yeah, they're not getting me today. A very quick question. Hello, Dave. Do you ever play support? No, I don't. Not really. The last time I played support role actively has been like seven years ago, I think. Eight years ago. I never picked that role. If I if the game forces me on auto, like if the game auto fills me on support, I dodge the game always. Hmm. He's going to die. Still got my E2. Wait. Kidding. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. I can use my W now. Oh yeah, there comes the ability. I'll get him. Thank you very much. <laughs> you have five, uh, five zero in Warwick already. I actually played Warwick earlier today too, and this was the experience I've had. <laughs> Same exact experience. If you wonder why I'm not using my E, there's a reason for that, because it actually cost me a lot of mana. And I don't think it's worth. Unless I really have to. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice. I think 
I might go for plates. I'll just grab like one plate. Maybe two. Maybe two plates. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Goodbye. It's actually one of those PDA Terex. I've seen way too much people going PDA on uh, on Terex lately. Way too many people going PDA. Too much. Hmm. I was thinking I'll hold my E so like to, just to see what happens, but. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, actually. My bad. <laughs> I just beat the PDA Tarek. <laughs> Alright, dude. I think what I'm going to end up doing is... Um, I think I might go Hydra. So a bit of a change of... A change of plans here. I was thinking about going for... A uh, Stripe Breaker. But I think going Hydra would be a lot of fun. By the way, we actually do not have an AD carry. Our AD carry left the game. Your has been destroyed. Okay, I think that we probably got this game. Four against five. It's good to see you. I should have used my W. Yep. I should have used my W. I didn't even have to use my R. Would have been a lot more optimal. It doesn't matter. You have slain an enemy. An ally has been slain. Wait, let me just pick up the next wave too. Yeah, we're not getting the plates, but that's okay. Goodbye. No jungle camps anymore. Nothing to obtain. I think I might just... Uh, oh, wait a second. It's getting procced. Okay, we're running forward. Wait. Thank you. Seems like that Yasu gave up or something. I don't know. Or got CC'd. And back top lane. I wish that my W was like shorter, uh, shorter cooldown here. Imagine, bro. Then I could just jump on the York again. But I have to wait a long time. Let's go. I have three points in my W so far, so we have, we still have a lot of points to drop in there to make it more useful. I'm always excited when W is completely maxed out because then you can just, you know, <laughs> you can run so quickly with that W. Everything feels good when, when W is maxed out. Let's go into, I think I might possibly go Mercs. Just a little bit of tenacity will do because they do have some CC this game. An enemy has been slain. Where is your okay wait he's actually mid. Never mind. Never mind. I'll quickly grab this along the way. Would be nice if we could eventually steal the steal the blue buff. Our AD carry is still out of the match, by the way. Thank, thank you. Back to top lane. Gotcha. Wait, I made a mistake. No, 
no idea what the us is thinking over there. That was a nice jump. Yeah, I made a terrible mistake. I actually... It was my fault that Tarek actually got no way over there. It's definitely my fault. I love the wave clear so much when you go for this build too. Like, you have so much lifesteal. But the AoE is, is by far the, the, the nicest of all. Okay, I'm done. Lifesteal doesn't always save you. <laughs> Not always. Um, the next item we're going for, I think it's going to be... Um, I'm thinking about going for more lifesteal since we're building so much lifesteal. Anyways, I've recently been doing so many lifesteal builds on a different variety of champions. So I'm thinking about going for this item because it gives me the, um, it gives me the effect, the shield. Um, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do it. I'll take the raw damage. My question is, is it worth collecting the rest on the floor? Yeah, it, it, it is collecting if, if they're like on your path, but that's really it. Ash does a lot of damage. Wow, amazing. Triple? An enemy has been slain. Nice. And that's also, uh, that's definitely also a dragon, by the way. I'm gonna check if, to see if there's actually a red buff available. Just to steal that away. And then afterwards we go bot lane. It's likely, uh, likely to be more people here. Very difficult to play out. Yeah, it's that was uh, that was a little bit too difficult to play out. Honestly, I tried it. I tried cutting them down, but that was not enough. Thinking maybe I'll just drop like Q autos down and walk backwards, see if I can get myself in a better situation. But they have an Ash as their ADC, and she's just basically perma slowing me uh, the entire time. She doesn't have anti healing yet. Only two people of them have anti healing. It's only Yorick and Tarek at the moment. I hope that <laughs> Ash is not going to go anti healing uh, soon enough. I hope not. I hope I'm wrong. We will, uh, we will see. Looks like they're going, possibly going Baron. Yes, they're actually doing Baron. Very, very bad. Not good for us. Yeah, and my teammates obviously lose that. I'm not there, so it makes a lot of sense. Look how fast we're running. <laughs> we're like fast forwarding here. Next. All jungle camps have unfortunately been taken. I think I could probably proc my W. I mean, someone is on the left. Wait, I'm probably up. Hmm. 
Oh, I couldn't get my healing off. No, I was trying to like spam my Q. Yeah, we got wrecked by the stun again. Uh, I'll sell this so I can go crit chance. Maybe that helps. Nice. It will be a very hard late game. I know that our AD carry is not existing at the moment. I know that our AD carry is out of this game for a long time already. And um, it is super winnable now. But when we get to the late game and people actually get full build, you'll start noticing that we don't have the AD carry anymore. So while we are winning now, like, it's not going to be forever. It we're reaching a point where they will eventually start outscaling us, just for the fact that we don't have the AD carry. So it's it's about time we 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 need to do something about this game or it's over. We'll see if we can do something. Yeah, I had to do this. Hmm. My teammates are fighting the other people. All of them are dead. So we can push really far and then get the dragon afterwards. So, dragon after we get everything in mid. Fit of 6 is alive. Let's go. Okay, now, now is the time to go dragon immediately. Uh, Fiddlesticks can't do anything. It would be nice if we could steal the red buff away. But I think they are very much aware of it. It will reset. Yeah. I'll get kited down. Wait, I, there's not much else I can do. I'm gonna walk away. I don't have a lot of mana anymore. <laughs> I love how the wave is like blocking me completely. There's no way to obtain. I'm sure this uh, we get this one before they do. There's no blue buff anymore. I need like 250 to buy the fourth life seal item. Okay, now it's the time to reset. Okay, we should go for another team fight. I think that we can easily win the next team fight, for sure. Because we have a very large XP lead. All of us have a very large XP lead. Even my support is a level lead at the moment. I'm almost in range for Ash. I think I'm now. Yes. She's over there. Thank you. Very good. It's only Yasuo left. <laughs> We're winning the game without an AD carry, man. We're so close. <laughs> we don't even have an AD carry in this game. We have no AD carry and we're winning the match. <laughs> Four against five. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, no way. 
Either way, this is Borek Top Lane. Thanks so much, uh, thanks so much for watching today's live steel video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.